Next up, we have Justin Hahn. Justin is a student of, of environmental sciences at Santa Monica College. He'll be attending the University of California, Davis in the fall. He has worked with Santa Monica College's Center for Environmental and Urban Studies, Sustainable Works, and Climate Action Santa Monica, promoting sustainability to students in the community. He's also an amazing photographer who frequently documents events in sustainability and the environment in the city. Welcome, Justin Hahn. <laughs> I hope everyone here is having a amazing afternoon. All right. Yes. So, you know, I'm a photographer, and photography has been a passion of mine over the last year and a half or so. So it's a pretty recent thing. But before I had photography, I didn't really have a creative outlet. And what it made me realize was, you know, I'm surrounded by pretty amazing things around the world, you know, around me. And so, recently, I, well, over the last 23 years of my life, I've been stuck in this bubble, the LA bubble, and I've never really traveled outside of California before. So, I decided about four weeks ago that I would, you know, go on a trip during my spring break. And so I got on a flight, my first flight ever. Uh, eight and a half hours, uh, about 4,300 miles later, I ended up in this magical place called Iceland. One of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. And so, <laughs> while, while traveling in Iceland, I realized that you know, it's, I've been stuck in this concrete jungle for way too long. And then I really, really, really enjoyed my trip and my traveling, travels over there. And, you know, I spent around six days over there. And, you know, when I got on my flight and came back home, looked through the photos on my computer, I was already planning my next trip to Iceland, whether it be you know years or even decades from now. But one of the things that I'm really concerned about is, you know, is Iceland going to be the same Iceland that I went to a couple weeks ago? You know, our Earth is going through some drastic changes right now, and so you know it saddens me to know that. You know, it's not going to be the same place when I come back. But, you know, I'm not going to give up. We're not going to give up. We need to, I know for sure that, you know, we're surrounded by amazing people who take action. Such as this guy. You don't know who that is. It's Mr. Gore, all right, who I had the pleasure of photographing during Sustainable Works' screening of an inconvenient sequel back in January. And, you know, sometimes you don't need to be an Al Gore. Sometimes you just need to be a Ferris Kowar, who is right here, who has been a great inspiration to me. I've had the pleasure of working with him over the last three years at Santa Monica College. And sometimes, and, you know, and this guy, I, I, I think you know who this is. And, you know, project uh, Team Marine is in, that project has been incredible because it shows me that you know the next generation is taking action to really combat you know all these all this environmental degradation that goes around you know happens around us. And this is this here is a fellow student of mine, Bronwyn who has taken big steps to combat plastic use on campus. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's not individual action. It's action within the community. All of us here, 
okay? Because together we can accomplish great things, all right? Great change. So, sorry, I didn't have a really good speech written up, so kind of improvising at this point. <laughs> but, you know. So, Justin, what's that photo? Oh, that's one of the, oh. <laughs> so, okay, so this is, um, this is Coastal Cleanup Day back in 2017. So this is a great example of the community coming together in order to help clean up the beach. Because, you know, here in Santa Monica, we value our beaches. Am I right? Yes. Am I right? And so, you know, when you go out there and you see people taking action, it makes a big difference. Because, you know, together we are, we are just, we can accomplish anything, really. Uh, I'm freezing, I'm freezing. Uh, can uh, we play some music? Oh, so aside, aside from uh, community action, we need the next generation, you know, and the generation after that will be the next, you know, politicians, policymakers, scientists will, who will really help us solve the major problems that we're facing today. And so, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, the future doesn't have to be gloomy, right? You know, that, that doesn't need to happen. If we take action today, we can prevent the future from looking like that. And so here, you know, plant the tree of hope, right? Because we're, yeah, this is, <laughs> I took this at Arbor Day, and it's just symbolic because, you know, they're planting trees to, you know, provide shade. You know, the trees are not going to pop up in a couple years. It takes decades. So what we do today will impact, you know, generations of the future, whether it be decades or centuries from now. They're going to enjoy, you know, all the benefits or all the actions that we're taking today. Thank you. Thank you. Did Justin do a great job or what? <laughs>